Those are the four things that the game should teach you leading up to level 50. And it doesn't. Okay, here we go. The health of the game is just the most important thing to me. I'm assuming he's going to be over What's here. What's your opinion right? on yeah. Guardian slash Abyss nerf? Yeah, so my opinion on the Guardian and Abyss nerf, I don't know. I, oh, no, I, I feel like my watch opinion this. on it is going to be quite different from the other content creators. Here's my opinion. I think it is like 80% a good change. I, I think it's very good, to be perfectly honest. Because here's the thing, man. When it comes to the Guardian raids, I think 100% it's a great change. 100%. In this game, Guardian raids are no longer endgame. Man, like Guardian raids are now mm -hmm. considered dailies. It's just the way it is. This is not based. Yeah, I feel the same way with the Guardian. Like I, uh, I solo most of my Guardian raids because I find it's actually faster, which is sad because like there's a lot of, like for example, uh, for example, uh, like Titalos. Like if you're, <laughs> if if you go into matchmaking. All you're going to be doing is soloing the boss with three times as much health, right? I mean, like, you know it, I know it, everybody knows it, right? I mean, that's just, that's what's going to happen, and it, it is what it is, yeah. And, and that's what I had to do, um, I did, it was like Frost Helgea, and the boss, like, everybody in my party died somehow, and I fought the boss for, like, 18 minutes, and I did it in matchmaking because I thought, okay, well, I can just do it faster in matchmaking. People just kept dying and nobody did any damage. And I almost didn't even kill it in time because it had so much health. Like, I was able to do it, but like, damn, it took a long time. In my opinion, I think the best change that Lost Ark can make for the Guardian raids, make it to where you can only get one soul a day. Uh, I think doing the Guardian raids, the way that players do Guardian raids is that they probably do one Guardian raid and then they just immediately go back and do the exact same one again because they want to do the highest tier because it gives the most rewards. And I think that immediately repeating another boss would probably be too much. I like doing two. Yeah, the soul gives leap stones. Double reward for one soul. So much fun. Yeah, I think that would be better. Doing two is a waste of time. Yeah. Uh, one soul, too many, uh, two extra rewards. Yeah, that's. I'd be fine with that. I, I'm fine with the rewards. I'm just saying that I think that having to do two guardians a day is one too many. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm not saying that like uh, guardian. I actually really enjoy the guardian raids because I like being able to soul them. I think it's super cool. But I just wish you didn't have to do two a day. It could just be one instead. Lazy fuck. Bitch, shut the fuck up. I've got to collect my moco seeds. I don't have time to sit there for 17 minutes because some guy can't figure out that a red swirly means move. Vanilla That's Lost the biggest Ark, issue man. to this me. This is the updated version, season two plus version of Lost Ark. So yeah. when you make daily content very difficult, or let's just say difficult for now, then people get discouraged because they want to log in and get shit done to progress. Yeah. Most people are okay with wiping and experiencing hard content if it's like the end game raid. But I think it's discouraging yeah, if you I'd can't say even so. progress and it takes you so long to progress. I think that's... I, I think also another thing that's really frustrating for people that do Guardian raids is they queue into matchmaking and then one person dies three times and then uh, the other team doesn't like... It would be good, like, I don't know how they could even do this, right? This is just, like, me talking. Like, I'm just talking. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but, like, if every player just had two lives rather than the team collectively having four, like, I don't know if that would be better instead. I have no idea. But it does feel really bad whenever you queue into matchmaking, and you're doing a boss that's, like, really hard to do solo, right? Like, Titalos or, like, um, like Virtus or something like that. And uh, they're, they're a lot harder because they have group mechanics that you then have to deal with solo. Uh, you, you queue matchmaking to not have to deal with that. And then you have like one player that just artificially makes the fight a lot harder by dying more than they usually would do. A Chades? Yeah, that's another one. Sure. Remove the death limit? No, I don't think they should remove the death limit. Uh, I, I don't think so. Where the issues come from? Because, it, like, imagine if Chaos Dungeons were just as hard as Guardians. It's like, bro, most of the player base would just feel like they can't even fucking progress because it's too difficult. You know what I mean? That That's my opinion. Now, if Guardian yeah. Raids were the end game, then it should be difficult. But it's not. It's not the end game. 
It's a <laughs> fucking daily now. Like your opponents, your Chaos Dungeons, and your Guardian Raids. Eponas. These are three things that you need to be doing daily. What are the opponents? Right? When one of those dailies can take you potentially two fucking hours to complete, it's mm -hmm. kind of dumb. Oh. That's number one. Number two, the numbers speak for themselves. I think I read it's like 10% of the people in Korea? Are like okay. completing it or some shit. When 10% of the population can complete a fucking daily, it is not good for the game. The health... I would agree with that, honestly. Like, yeah, if if ninety percent of people have a failure rate on this on this part of the content, that is a daily that you have to do twice. Like, and each time that you do it, like you have to keep in mind as well that like damn people suck. Then, yeah, they do suck. Most people suck at video games. Have you seen? Like, I remember. So, like, I didn't even understand this, right? I remember going to the Wrath of the Lich King release event. No, Cataclysm release event at GameStop. And I was talking to these guys, and these people had... You were here for the midnight release of the expansion. You don't even know what's happening in ICC. You're just completely fucking clueless. It's crazy for me to see that, man. Like, yeah, it's like a window into the average... Uh, an average player is just really fucking... It's really eye-opening of the game you could sit there and be like hey i want hardcore content all day yeah the game's gonna turn into be the, the game's gonna turn out to be like wildstar it is look what happened yeah. to wildstar wildstar was one of the most difficult pve games that i personally experienced end game shit in that game and like the dailies weren't difficult but like the dungeons were extremely difficult that game died just like that now i'm not gonna say it died well that's because it, it, it you know that's a big reason why it died is that it was a game that they tried to make the game for the loud one percent of players that's really what it is yeah wow it's, it's because people are not that good at the game on average and you can't make the entire game super hard like that the problem is that a lot of people they were like oh wow used to be hard Wildstar, like if you looked at some of the raids in Wildstar, the mechanics for them, they were much more mechanically demanding than like a vanilla WoW or a Burning Crusade raid. Even though the people were comparing it to be like, oh, well, we want it to be like Burning Crusade or vanilla WoW. No, you don't. Because if you did, the boss would have three, three abilities and you wouldn't even have to care about two of them just strictly because of that but th i think that was definitely one of the contributing factors the last reason why i feel like the as far as the guardian raids go you think guys, you do this game does a very shitty job introducing the raid mechanics to the game my opinion with the way i would design it is i would make chaos dungeons and raids. i think that like i agree with this i think that like for example some of the core mechanics like a stagger check etc i think that they should teach you stagger checks and the boss should turn blue whenever you have to counter it for like 10 seconds in the entry level dungeons. Because a lot of people don't even know what that is. They do in the training room. Why would anybody do the training room? Why would anybody go to the training room? Like that's not, see like you, you guys are giving me, this is what players should theoretically do. I'm telling you what they actually do. And I know I'm right. Because, and you know I'm right, because the Guardian raids have a failure rate of 90 fucking percent because people don't know the fucking mechanics. They don't learn the mechanics. They have no idea. Most people don't even know to parry. They don't even know, or sorry, to counter. They used to make you do the training room, etc. Well, yeah, but that's not how it is in, in, in this version. I, I don't know. I don't know how it is in the other versions. Or, or Guardian raids, I'd make them easy. Just okay. make training room mandatory? No. Training room sucks. Why would you want somebody to have to do the training room? That's garbage content. It's like proving grounds and wow, that sucks. Who the fuck wants to do training grounds? It's so dumb. Just make bosses in the actual content have these mechanics in them. Yeah, well, why, why not just make the bosses in the raids in the dungeons leading up to level 50 have the mechanics? Why, why add in this entirely new thing that doesn't even progress your character? Training room super easy and quick. Nobody cares. They don't want to. They don't want to do it. Why would people want it? Why would people want to do training grounds? It's what? Why makes it, because something is super easy and quick. That does not mean that you should do it. Early game rewards then? Yeah, it's a quest. Let me ask you guys a question. What percentage of the player base in the Western servers do you think has done the training grounds to acclimate themselves to the mechanics that bosses do? What do you think that number is? The percentage? Five percent. Yeah, I think that's a bit much. I would say it's probably closer to 2 or 1 or 3%.
and make them easy. Chaos Dungeons, you know, mindless, chill grind. Guardian Reign's a little bit more difficult. A little bit more. I'm not saying like make it one shotable. A little bit more difficult yeah. where, it, where it does maybe take you anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes tops. And it introduces you to the mechanics of countering. It introduces you to the mechanics of staggering. Yes. But it doesn't punish you to the point where you can't fucking do it. That'll introduce people to, okay, I, I see what destruction is. I see what yeah. stagger is. And I would actually go as far as to... It, it also, like, there's basically, like, four things that the game should teach you that it doesn't teach you. Destruction, weak point, counter, and stagger. Those are the four things that the game should teach you leading up to level 50. And it doesn't. The game should teach you this on a fundamental level. Literally show the players, maybe, I don't know, when you go to this board, like show this boss, maybe like a little the tool tip, you then need three to things. be sure to you get destruction it didn't teach damage me. in there. Be you sure know, I didn't know that. There's a stagger check in there. Kind of like how WoW Raids good have point, it, right? right? Kind of introduce that. Then the Abyss Dungeons, I would take that a step higher and make them pretty difficult. I think they're pretty good right now. Um, if you want to nerf them a little bit lower from here, mm -hmm. I think that's even fine too because that's a weekly. But definitely make them more difficult from Guardian Raids and then leave it yeah. at that. When it comes to the Legion Raids, you leave that difficult because that's endgame. I don't think anyone is going... I uh, take that back. I was going to say, I don't think anyone there is will going be to someone, yes. about the Legion Raids being too difficult. But of yeah. course, you always will have people. But for the most part, it wouldn't be to the extent of guardian raids right there's a difference between hey argos is the end game raid Valton is the end game raid Abr yeah it's gonna be a lot harder and, and i know that people are saying that um like i, I want to address some of these concerns that people have is because i really i really think that people are completely off base with this uh was destruction not introduced in one of the very first story instance dungeons it doesn't matter because destruction being introduced at the very beginning, the player doesn't have enough context in the game to understand what that is. Like, you don't have a big enough frame of reference to be able to understand that information. And that's why nobody ever, nobody does it right. It's so evident that this is the problem because this is the way that people are playing. They wouldn't be playing like that if they had known what they were doing. And also, like, oh, it taught you this once in a boss fight at level 20, and then you're expected to know that this is an endgame mechanic, and you have to remember this from a dungeon at level 20? This is just not a realistic expectation. I don't care how much of an MLG pro gamer you are, it doesn't really fucking matter, because this is not, uh, this is not the best way to design something. Right? That's all I'm really saying. People don't know what weak point means. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Was a huge chain for investigating and killing all of the guardians to teach you stuff like stagger etc it's just annoyingly hard to find yeah i've done most of it uh i don't i don't is it all the guardians i think i i don't know i can't find the rest of it then i i did like the first like three or four points what the fuck is a weak point exactly chat takes for granted sometimes they're playing video games their whole life yeah it's like people don't understand like nobody wants to go through a tutorial nobody wants to do that it's just a waste of their time they want to get right into the game Nobody wants to fuck with a tutorial, figure out how to use their abilities, etc. Uh, I do. Yeah, you, like, you guys really, like, I'm telling you, like, the average player, like, it's like what I said before with, like, an empty room and a light socket and a, and a fork. And it's like at a certain point, you are the one who decides what's in that room. Maybe get rid of the fork. I think you skipped tutorial. You have no right to complain. Quinn level bullshit right there. I completely disagree with you. Because everybody's going to skip the tutorial. The thing is, a lot, like, the game should not, the game should do its best to not lead you into situations that will make your character and make you have a bad experience in the game. Yeah, that, that's, that's what it really comes down to. Tutorials for idiots? Yeah, it, it's again, morons skip tutorials. Do you know how I know everybody skips tutorials? Is that everybody in here is acting like they're an MLG pro gamer and they actually do all the right things and they know all the mechanics to things? Well, whenever you guys come to my fucking raids, why do you do them wrong? Huh? Why do you do them wrong? If you know all the mechanics and you know all this stuff, how is it that every time I get into a raid, nobody can figure anything out? It's because maybe people didn't actually do what they're saying that they did.
April is the end game rate and it's difficult versus, yo, if I want to fucking progress and I got to do these guardian raids, I, I can't do it. Because keep in mind, yeah. these are new players. These are new players mm -hmm. playing a top, some playing a top down game for the first time in their lives. A lot of them. They have yeah. no idea what stagger checks are. They have no idea what counters are. Like th to this day, there are probably a fuck ton of people that are in tier two that still don't even know that a blue model means counter frame, which by the way, it's not even always blue. With all the lighting and shit that's in this game, yes. all the effects, sometimes that shit turns purple. I know I've been in that uh -huh. situation before where I'm just like, I told you guys, see? This is a fucking veteran of the game that's played it way fucking more than I have saying the exact same fucking thing. This is the exact same thing because everybody knows that's fucking bullshit. Everybody knows that it's common sense. I have just been validated. Yo, was that counter frame? Cause that kind of turned purple. But if I try to counter it and I and it isn't a counter frame, I might get one shot from that mechanic. So I don't really want to test to find out because now I'm gonna be throwing for my team. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not forgiving for new players. So again, my priority and what I would want from the game is the health of the game. Yes, of course I enjoy hard, you know, guardian raids and all that stuff. Yeah. It's fun. But my opinion doesn't matter. What I want in a video game doesn't mean that it's what everyone wants. And logically thinking, dailies, easy content, Chaos Dungeon, super easy, Guardian Raids, harder, but more of an introduction to raid mechanics. Abyss Dungeons yeah. being difficult, but clearable, not to the point where you sit there and be like, well, fuck it, we can't clear it today. Not <laughs> yeah. to that extent, but very challenging to the point where it does force you I think to it's do also the matchmaking problem. Uh, what, 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 what they could do, and I don't know if this is a good solution or not, so like maybe I'm completely off base with this, is increase the item level that you have to be in order to do matchmaking. Because I think that most of these problems occur in matchmaking. Like, make it to where you have to have a higher minimum item level. Like, they have this for, like, for example, I think it's Orphe as well, because uh, I looked at this last night. Like, you can queue into it at 325, but you have to be 340 in order to use matchmaking. Mechanics where you do have staggered checks and you do have these mechanics that are in there as a gateway to the Legion raids, Legion commanders, where it's like, okay, this is, okay, all that shit that you learned, those mm -hmm. steps, now it's time to fucking wipe and not be able to clear content. All yep. the content creators out there, first of all, most of the OG content creators for Lost Ark, they know more about the game than I do. I I'll, be, I'll be straight up. I, I put out informative content, but mm -hmm. I will be the first to say that a lot of those content creators know more about the game than I do. They've been playing longer than I did. And, I, and I'm not mocking them by any means because, you know, their logic behind their opinion is absolutely yeah. correct. But... Again, it's just opinions and what we think is healthy for the game, you know, but I am pretty sure that there are other content creators out there that are worried that these easy mechanics are going to lead to wiping with Legion raids. Okay. Yes, I, I think that's really what it is. There are some people who just don't like to see anything nerfed and these are like the, you know, elitist gatekeeping gamer people, right? And, and to some degree, sometimes they're right, but it, not always. Uh, but like there's also a lot of people who are just worried that like if it starts happening now It's just gonna keep happening and get worse over time Part of your problem as well is you just prioritize item level and not people that know mechanics Well, that's because on average. I think if you take like let's think about this right here So if you have no other thing to go by Do you think somebody who is 600 item level or somebody who is 1300 item level if you take 100 players that are 600 item level and 100 players that are 1300 item level, which one is going to have more people that know what a stagger check is? 1300. Yeah, it, it, it's that simple. It's this shit could be difficult. They You're right that engravings and roster level are a better, to are, are better judge. You guys are more right about difficult. that. You know what's going to end up happening? You're still going to wipe all day when a new fucking raid comes out. That's what it is. When Clown comes for the first time, I don't care if you are able to clear Albrahostic here. Like, I don't care if you're able to clear him on hard or easy. It, regardless, like, you're going to still wipe when you when you see that raid for the first time. Oh, and it's yeah. it's going to force yeah, you that's to true. learn it, right? So That's probably uh, but true. But I get what they're saying. You know, you got to be trained in... You have to be able to identify counter mechanics and, and, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And, and that's fine. I agree with yeah. that. But I don't think it needs to immediately be hard. I think there's stepping stones to it. And, yeah, that, that's, that's my opinion. 
I think I think everything that he's saying in here is uh, makes perfect fucking sense. Uh, I do. I think it makes absolute perfect fucking sense, and I agree with what he's saying. Uh, I hope that this obviously is uh, uh, it doesn't happen to the harder raids, etc. But we'll see what's going to happen. T3, the second abyss. Yeah, that was the one that I used an example. There's the video right there. Uh, we've watched Cannon a number of times before. He's uh, make really good videos. Uh, I think this is actually one of his better videos. It's, it's a very short video. It's to the point. Uh, you know, we have things edited in, etc. cetera. Uh, I think it was put very succinctly. And yeah, this is a lot better. I think that he's gotten a lot better at making his videos just in general. So yeah.